guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Barbie Stacks, the big one, not the little one. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. So today's video is gonna be a Miami stripper vlog, y'all, and your girl is back in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> your girl's back in Miami, y'all, and it feels so good to be back. Like I feel like I haven't been in Miami in like ages. Like literally, it's been about a good four or five months, y'all. What sexy bread said? I'm out here in Miami. Looking for the hoochie daddies, what are you at? <laughs> My son need a new pappy. <laughs> Nah, let me stop playing though. But your girl's back in Miami, y'all, and it feels so freaking good to be back in Miami. Like, I just know I'm about to make a fat, crazy, stupid bag out here. If you've never been to Miami, y'all, this is your sign to go to Miami. Because in Miami, you can't lose. Like, there is no possible way that you could lose. Crazy thing about the whole thing is social media will hype up Miami to make it seem like, oh, you have to have, like, a big booty, slim waist, big boobs or something to eat out here. No, you don't, okay? No, you do not. Take it from me, okay? If you don't hear from nobody else, listen to me. You don't need to have have a slim waist big booty big you don't need all that all you need is a face okay and obviously you need to know how to dance too but if you are bad you gonna eat period okay i'm on the petite side and y'all i still eat don't let social media fool y'all when it comes to my email right if you a baddie you gonna eat period i just landed today like literally maybe 30 minutes ago y'all and let me just tell y'all about my experience on the plane right quick right quick y'all my freaking sugar had dropped on the plane y'all i woke up like <laughs> panicking literally panicking like <laughs> like what's wrong with me like i need some assistance i tapped the dude on his shoulder i'm like excuse me sir i need some assistance he looked back at me like why you touch me i'm like i need some orange juice I need some crackers, some cookies, some peppermints. I need something. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you think I just want to touch you to touch you? No. I need some assistance. And then eventually they had helped me out. They gave me cookies, peppermints, orange juice, the whole nine, muffins. They, they, they set it up for your girl, okay? Set it up for your girl. My whole purpose in telling y'all that is to tell y'all that there's still good people on this earth, okay? So while I was going through my little episode, right, panicking, like, <laughs> doing all that, y'all, I was panicking, okay? panicking i was thinking in my head like now i came to miami and i ain't gonna make it back home <laughs> like, hell no like i gotta be messed up somebody about to help me i don't care if 911 gotta be called somebody about to help me anyways y'all so the people on the side of me like shout out to them like oh my god like i should have got their names but shout out to them like real talk like they really was looking out for me and then the girl was like you need to take your jacket off you need to take your jacket off and i'm like okay all right, doctor. And her husband was like, she needs more peppermints. I'll pay for them. How much they cost, I'll pay for them. And I'm just like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't even know me. Y'all going hard behind me. I love that energy. Like, I love that energy. <laughs> I hope God blesses them, like, tremendously. Hey, y'all just checked in her room, y'all. And let me show y'all a little room tour. This room, honestly, isn't that bad. Quick tip, y'all. Quick tip. If y'all ever do, like, a business trip, y'all ever go out of town, if y'all looking for rooms to book, don't try to book the nicest thing on the internet. Because remember, you're out there to make money, not lose money. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying go stay in a nasty motel or nothing. But get you something decent for a decent price, okay? All right, y'all, so when you first walk in, you bust this right. Here goes the bathroom with the vibes, with the fights. And this is the bathroom. Well, this isn't the bathroom over here, obviously, but you know, whatever. This is the bathroom. <laughs> and here goes the shower, y'all. Super freaking cute, clean, straight to the point, okay? I'm here for a long time. I'm here for a short time. Feel me? And here is a little closet, I guess, for you to put your clothes and stuff in. And another thing that I forgot to mention to tell y'all, when y'all book y'all rooms and stuff like that, always make sure that y'all check in the closets and stuff. Because it'd be a lot of sex trafficking going through hotels and stuff. And they always have some weird type of openings in the closet space. You know, areas that you won't even check because who really gonna put their clothes in the closet? You know what I'm saying? We here for a short time, not a long time. So always make sure when y'all book y'all hotel rooms, always make sure y'all check these closets and make sure there's no type of openings because they do be sex trafficking through these hotels okay all right and so after we close the closet y'all let's just walk through here and see what the room's giving yeah real simple real cute like i said we're not doing too much we're here on a business here baby we're not here to lose money we're here to what <laughs> make money thank you and it does come with this little balcony or whatever with a little balcony view and they have a little pool over there that i will not get into because it's too many German stuff going around nowadays. But they do have a little pool out there. That's cute or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the room, y'all. So your girl is about to go find her some food, y'all. I am freaking starving, okay? Stomach on zero, literally, okay? <laughs> so I'm about to go find me some food, y'all. I think I want some tacos. I don't know why. Every time I come to Miami, I always want tacos, like, every single time. Like, it's literally never been a time I got here and I didn't want tacos. So I'm about to go find me some tacos, y'all. Then I got to go to Walmart because I have to go buy me some toilet 
tree, some stuff to take a shower with, some razors, you know what I'm saying? Regular schmegler stripper stuff, okay? So we about to go get us some food, go to Walmart, and then come back to the crib. So let's now, go. look what they got me riding in. <laughs> look what they got your girl riding in. A fucking mom car. Like, be for real. Like, I'm a baddie. Like, <laughs> where's the bands? <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just made it to the taco spot, and it's called Taco, wait, hold on. What's the name? Taco and Tequila Bar, y'all. So we gonna see what it's hitting for. I really want me some tacos, like, real ad, okay? Real ad. So I'm about to go up in here, and we gonna see what it's hitting for, okay? It's freaking crazy, y'all, because now I be trying to vlog in public, and you can't pay me. Like, a year ago, you couldn't pay me to vlog in public, because who? I hate the fact that, that people stared at me and everything, but I'm trying to get out of that shell, and I'm trying to vlog more, y'all, so... Give your girl a little hand clap, okay? Give your girl a hand clap because, y'all, I used to be so freaking nervous to do this. And now, it is what it is. What y'all gonna do? Talk about me. And if y'all do, so what? And? <laughs> All right, y'all. So, your girl finally just got her food, y'all. When I tell y'all they took 20, 30 minutes to make some tacos, I was really confused. But your girl got her food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I am so freaking excited, y'all. It smells so freaking good. Oh, my God. Like, let me show y'all what I had got. So, I had got some... What is this? I had got some rice, y'all. Some Mexican rice. I don't know what this is. I don't remember. It looked like some type of beans. Probably for the rice. Probably for the rice. Then I had got some Mexican corn, y'all. Oh, looks so freaking good. And I got my three tacos down here, y'all. But I'm about to go to the room so I can eat my big bag meal in peace, okay? <laughs> So your girl just got done doing her makeup and her hair. And I look good as hell, good as hell. Ready for the money, ready for the bag, okay? So tonight I'm working at a club that I never worked at before and I don't really know how I feel about it. I have mixed emotions. Cause for one, I'm the type of person I don't like trying new things, okay? I usually stick to what I know. I hope y'all can hear me cause this air condition is mad loud. But I'm the type of person I stick to what I know and what I don't, I really don't fool with it. Cause every time I try something new, it always show me why I shouldn't. No, we're gonna wish for the best, y'all. We're gonna speak positivity. We're gonna make a big, fat, crazy, stupid bag tonight, and that's all, period, okay? I'm about to hurry up and hop on a roll because I already know traffic out here be crazy. So let's go. <laughs> this is the money count, y'all. This is the money count. Oh, Lord. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, what the. What the hell is this? All right, y'all. So your girl just came back from the club, y'all. And last night was so freaking trash, like, so freaking trash, like, let's just start off there. I'm not going to say it was a club because I only worked there once, but I, what I will say is I should have trusted my instinct and went where I said I was going to go from the beginning, okay? Because I definitely did not want to go to that club, but I ended up going to that club anyways because my homegirl wanted me to go with her and she had people going there. They were supposed to be spending the bag because it was quote unquote their birthday, but it didn't give none of that. Y'all, when I say I'm so freaking annoyed, I'm so freaking annoyed. Like, last night was just so freaking trash, and I'm not even going to say the club is trash. I can't even say that because honestly, you can't even judge a club off of one night because honestly, you probably just came on their bad night. You feel me? But I'm just like, dang, like it was giving lounge vibes. Like, everybody was sitting around, looking around, like just being annoying as hell, and I just can't even take that, y'all. Honestly, I can't take that. Like, the club that I come from, the club that I work at, like, eh. I mean, you have your nights when they'll do that. But on a normal day, like, they gonna spend that bag. You feel what I'm saying? Like, literally nobody in there was doing nothing. Nothing. Nathaniel. Like, nothing. Literally, I just got done saying I always stick to what I know because I hate trying new things. Why? Because when things do not turn out the way I want them to turn out, and I usually don't even try new things, I get pissed off. Like, literally. <laughs> literally. Let's put these ones together because it wasn't that much ones to put together, okay? And let's do this money count, y'all. I honestly gotta count this by hand. But this is what we made last night, y'all. This much right here. This much. It's giving 200. 200 y'all. It's giving tip out. All right? It's definitely giving what I paid to work. So let's just, I'm going to count this right quick. And then I'm going to come back on camera and let y'all know how much it is. Let me bring it a little closer. How much you think it is? Please don't say 300 because it's not giving that. It's not giving that at all. It's giving 200. Like, <laughs> all right, y'all. So I just got done counting this and it didn't even give 200. <laughs> It didn't even give it 200. Like, that is so freaking sad, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to come on here and I'm going to tell y'all the rule every single time. Good money counts, bad money counts. Tonight was definitely a horrible money count, y'all. This came out to be 172 okay? 172 not even $200. That is so freaking sad. Like, it was a Friday night. That's why I usually stick to what I know. And I ain't going to lie to y'all. I had a bad feeling that it was not going to hit on nothing tonight. But, y'all, let me hurry up and get off this because my camera's about to die. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow because this is sad. 
what's up you guys so today is the next day y'all it is saturday and your girl just got done doing her makeup and her hair y'all i think i went crazy on the makeup today i don't know is it just me is it just me because i feel like i really went crazy on my makeup like my makeup just been coming out so smooth and so flawless like these past couple days it's the miami sign it's the miami sign <laughs> so y'all today is saturday and i'm about to get ready to go to work i'm about to go into work we about to do day shift and night shift tonight, y'all. I tried to do day shift and night shift yesterday, but that club just was not giving. It was not giving at all, like not even a little bit. I had did day shift, but by the time night shift hit, it was just too freaking slow, and it was acting too freaking broke for me, and I really hate that for me, like really hate that for me. Miami, y'all starting off on a bad start, okay? <laughs> get it together. But your girl is about to get ready to go to work, y'all. Like I said, we are doing day shift, y'all. Day shift and night shift. It is at 6.13. And I'm about to hurry up and head over there so I can pay this cheap tip out and then I can make my money for night shifts. But y'all wish me a crazy fast, stupid bag, like a crazy big, big bag. Like yesterday was not giving. Like yesterday was hitting on absolutely nothing. Okay? And your girl need her two bands tonight. Like Miami. Can y'all give me two bands? Like I don't feel like that's asking for a lot. Your girl need two bands. So I'm about to go ahead and head over to work y'all and I'll see y'all when I get there. what's up you guys so today is the next day y'all today is sunday and let me tell y'all about the club last night and tell y'all about my overall trip in miami y'all i feel like since i've been here my emotions been up and down up and down up and down i don't know if it's because i've just been dancing for a long time and i'm just getting irritated or or if the clubs are really just bothering me and it's really time for a change, okay? But just hear me out, y'all. Just hear me out. Just listen, okay? I've been dancing since I was 21 years old, y'all. I'm 27, so you do the math. Like, I've been dancing for six years. And I just feel like, I'm not going to say I'm about to stop dancing completely. But I kind of feel like it's definitely time for a change. It's definitely time for, you know, new beginnings. Something else to become. Like, the money is good. The money fast. The money easy. But don't get me wrong. It's like what you got to go through to get the money that's annoying, okay? I feel like that's what people don't understand like people look at strippers they be like oh my god i want to be a stripper they rich they got this they got that they always done up you know what i'm saying they got mad bread but y'all don't understand what we go through to get the bread you feel what i'm saying like it be mad much so so sooner or later y'all i don't know honestly when but i think i'm gonna take a break from dancing i'm not gonna say for too long probably like two weeks i just gotta get my motherfucking self together okay <laughs> like it's a mental thing okay it's honestly a mental thing but let me tell y'all about the club last night so last night the the club was all right it was cool it was not that honestly i feel like it was way too many people in there it was so packed out y'all so freaking packed out like you literally could not even move around and then on top of that it was so freaking hot i cannot stand working in the clubs during summertime because i feel like they never have their air on like they be trying to make people even more drunk than what they already are like it's hot as hell like why y'all don't have the air on in here like y'all we was literally shoulder to shoulder there was so many people in there that you honestly couldn't even make money and i know that sound crazy i know that sound crazy like how was it so many people in there that you couldn't make money it was so many people in there like nobody was even throwing money at a point because it was so many people in there like you can't even reach your arm out and throw money if you want to without slapping somebody like like that's how many people was in there y'all so at a point i just got irritated and i ended up leaving early because i'm like it's way too many people in here too many dancers too many customers we showed her the show we can't even make money it's packed out like literally y'all but let me tell y'all about this one chick that really blew me like y'all i really wanted to box her down like no cap like really wanted to put my paws on her and honestly i can't to put too much on her because them customers definitely be putting dancers in a position where we arguing back and forth and whole time it don't got nothing to do with us it got something to do with the customer okay i'm chopping it up with the customer whatever we talking da, da, da. so a girl comes over there right she comes over there and she whispers in his ear tell him what i don't know because i didn't hear her and i really wasn't paying attention for real it was just like all right all right uh-huh okay so i don't know what she said but i know dancers be on weird type of time and like don't ever trust a dancer i don't care whatever however if you are dancing and you in a club with another dancer dancer don't ever trust them but ever trust a stripper like literally don't ever trust they're not to be trusted like honestly truthfully but then she go get security and tell security that he said that he don't want me over there mind you out of the blue y'all we talking we chopping it up we laughing we taking shots together like the vibe was cool y'all don't get me wrong like if a person don't want me over there you could definitely tell like it's not hard to tell if a person don't want you over there but he was at, you know what i'm saying he was messing with me like he was messing with the kid all of a sudden you come over there whispering his ear next to you know you telling security that he don't want me over there like 
like, come on now. Like, you definitely told this man something. I'm not super dumb or slow. So security comes over there, and he's like, the customer said he don't want you over here. And so I'm just like, since when? Like, I've been over here for like a good 15 minutes. We've been chopping it up, taking shots, laughing. You feel what I'm saying? If he didn't want me over here, we wouldn't even be doing all of this. So he was like, I'm telling you what he just told me. So I look over to the dude and I'm like, what's going on? Like, is, is this what you said? Or like, you not saying nothing? You sitting over there closed mouth? Like, what what happened? Like, speak up. If you want me over here, just say that. So he looked over to the security guard. And he was like, I want her to come over here. And he pointed to the other girl. I was like, that's some real phony shit you just did. Not even gonna lie to you. That was really fake and phony. If you wanted her over here, all you had to do was just tell me you wanted her over there. But mind you, out of the blue, like... Yeah, so I had looked over there to him and I was like, if that's really how you felt, you could have just said that. You feel me? Don't sit over here and be on weird type of time and say you over here kicking it with me, taking shots with me, laughing with me, joking with me. Oh, follow me on the gram. Oh, da 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 da. You're mad pretty. Da 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 da. But then sure to come over here and all of a sudden your energy switch. It was weird as hell, y'all. Honestly, weird as hell. And I'm not even gonna lie, in the beginning, I did get mad at her, but then I had to understand, like, it wasn't only her. Like, yeah, it was you, but it wasn't only you, it was him as well because you was over here fake kicking it with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't fake kick with me like if you don't want me over there just say that like I'm not gonna cry I don't cry with spilled milk and it happens to the best of us you feel me I'm not about to sit over here and act like I never got rejected in the club before I definitely have I'm, it, I'm like that's just what it is if a person tell you they've never got rejected in the club they're lying okay they're lying you're not everybody's type and that's fine I don't know what she told him but literally like the energy changed like that like literally within seconds no lie y'all Miami men are different like they too they too sassy for me like honestly too sassy for me they act gay as hell if you ask me I have to head back to the room and when I get to the room I'm gonna show y'all this money count so I gave my food what's up you guys so your girl just woke up from her nap y'all <laughs> I ate that food and I was out for the camp okay I can every freaking weekend like I told y'all working constantly non-stop like that really be taking a toll on my body y'all like like I said I was gonna work day shift and night shift tonight for my last night out here y'all but tz tired like baby i am tired okay my body is literally yelling my body is literally screaming at me okay so i had to lay it down and call it a month night right quick take a little nappy nap because baby i was month sad all right but um let me show y'all this money count from last night y'all because i forgot to show y'all earlier but like i said i had fell asleep okay <laughs> 100 dollars last night which was not bad y'all i just i'm just hoping that tonight be way better because last night honestly was trash but we gonna see What's up, you guys? So today is Tuesday, y'all. Your girl's back at home, obviously, okay? I had flew back home um, yesterday, which was Monday, y'all, and I needed a whole day to recuperate, y'all. Because when I tell y'all, they had me hopping on plane to plane, flight to flight, y'all. I didn't, I really didn't understand it, okay? But your girl's back at home, y'all. I am so happy to be back home. Love it. I'm so happy to be back at home. <laughs> it's nothing like being back in your own space. Like, don't get me wrong. I love to travel. I love, love, love to travel. But it's just no place like home. Home, period but let me tell y'all about the club sunday y'all and just my overall experience in miami this go round. i feel like this go around wasn't as good as my other go rounds going to miami but that's perfectly okay because sometimes you might have beautiful trips sometimes your trips may not be as beautiful as you expected to be but that's perfectly okay like as long as you make money i feel like that's the only thing that counts okay but your girl still made some bread so i'm definitely happy about that and blessed okay and highly favored <laughs> but um let me just tell y'all about the club sunday y'all sunday was definitely a weird night as well y'all i don't know it's just something about this go around that just I don't know like Miami just wasn't really just doing it for me for all this go around I don't know if it's because kids about to go back to school next week or what but I feel like the club really wasn't just doing this big one like this go around the objective was to go to Miami and make some money and I definitely did that y'all so let me just show y'all this money count right quick so this is what your girl made a Sunday night y'all so let's do this money count right fast 100 200 300 400 and five hundred dollars so your girl had made five hundred dollars on a sunday y'all which honestly i'm not really happy about it but i am grateful don't get me wrong i just feel like the club is kind of like i'm not gonna just say slowing down but i know rolling loud just passed like two weeks ago and kids is about to go back to school next week so possibly be a reason why the clubs really just wasn't doing this big one you feel what i'm saying this go around 
But y'all, I'm definitely not gonna let this go around. Just make me sad or make me not want to go back to Miami because I told y'all I love Miami. I absolutely love Miami. My first time going to Miami, Miami showed me so much love. Like y'all showed me so much freaking love. The first time, second time, third time, for all the times, y'all, y'all definitely showed me love. Y'all showed me love this time. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, but it's just not what I was used to. You know what I'm saying? Because when I first went to Miami, y'all spoiled me rotten. Like first two, three times, like y'all spoiled me rotten, literally. Okay. So where when I went out there this time i thought y'all was gonna spoil me right again but y'all didn't <laughs> but y'all did it's all good though because y'all still show me love it's like i said i'm still grateful <laughs> but it's just that like miami be spoiling me y'all spoiling the hell out of me before i end this vlog i do want to say thank you guys so freaking much for getting your girl to 8,000 subscribers on youtube like what <laughs> what like that's super freaking crazy to me y'all like that is insane like literally when i had left when i first left to go to miami it was at 7k i think it was at like 7,900 or something like that and now we're at 8,100 subscribers y'all like i think that's insane like crazy like what <laughs> It's just so crazy, y'all, because sometimes I think about it and I just be like, dang, like, every time I hit another milestone on YouTube, I just get so, like, I slightly get emotional just a little bit. Not a lot, a lot. I slightly do get emotional because I should be like, dang, like, it's so crazy. A year ago, like, I was literally at zero subscribers. Literally, just a year ago. Now we're at 8,000 subscribers. Almost at 10K, y'all. Almost at 10K. Like, that's crazy. Like, I thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you guys so, so much. Like, I have no idea. Like, I literally do this for you guys. Like, literally. Like, I feel like if it wasn't for y'all, I would have been stopped YouTube a long time ago. And just hear me out, okay? Hear me out. Hear me out. Because YouTube is a lot of work. Okay, it's a lot of freaking work. I put a lot of time into my channel. I put a lot of time into my videos. I put a lot of time into everything I put on YouTube. So for y'all to just acknowledge that and support me throughout the whole journey, it's just super freaking crazy. I'm on thankful and blessed for you guys. So I just wanna say thank you again, once again, okay? Thank you so much for getting me the AK, y'all. I love you guys so freaking much. This is going to conclude the video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in my next one. <laughs>